All right, so we've got some points in the data collector. And let's say we want to figure out some distances. And, um, you know, let's talk about Kogo a little bit. So we're going to go to menu. We're going to go to Kogo, which stands for coordinate geometry. Okay. So if we want to figure out the distance or the Let's do inverse. So let's figure out the inverse, right? So we're going to go from point 200, and we're going to skip over 100 and go to 101 and see how far that is. All right, so I'm going to say enter. And it's going to commute it for us right there. OK, so we can go through and we can look at our options. All right, so that was going off a of ground, right? And it's using percent. So let's see if there's much difference between the grid. We'll say accept. All right, so the grid distance is 26.782. We'll go to options, switch that over to ground, and we'll say accept. Pretty short distance, so probably not going to really affect uh, what's going on. Uh, with that. All right, so that's how you would compute the inverse. Now you can store this and place it in your notes, or um, we can just hit escape and we go back into menu, into Kogo, and uh, we shot the, um, the back bearing when we set up this job. But let's say we want to get the azimuth. So let's get the azimuth. We're going to compute the azimuth between the two points, right? So got into the job, and uh, you know I I always shoot a bearing, and I get back, and um, you know we 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 want to figure out if I was standing on 200, how to find. 100, right? So we know the front bearing 7 degrees, but we want to compute the back bearing, right? So let's compute the back bearing. How do we get, so we know how to get from 100, it's like 27 feet at 7 degrees uh, for our bearing, but we want to figure out how do we get back from 200 to 100. So I'm going to occupy my first point, is going to be 200, and then I'm going to go back to 100. All right, so it's going to be 70 degrees southwest, right? So um, makes sense. Anyway, so it, it's it's just going through and getting comfortable with what you got, right? So um, all right, so if we want to. Compute the. Uh, let's divide the line. All right. I'm gonna, first, you got to call it a line, right? So I'm going to call it line A. Okay. We're going to go to two points and create the line. Because we don't have any lines in this job, we just have points. So we're going to go. 200 to 100, okay, and then we want to set our segment lengths, we want to say 2 feet, pretty short line, and then if we wanted to add our offsets left or right, we could do that here, but we're going to just do it right along the line. Start station is going to be 0, end station is going to be 26.78, I'm going to say enter, and start. Oh, start point name. Uh, we'll call these uh, 300. Enter. Okay, and start. Completed successfully. I'm going to say OK. So now I'm going to say escape. And I go in here. And now we've got every two feet along that line, we've got points computed. And that's just some basic functions using our Kogo 
menu uh, in a conventional survey.